Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I will be using the Apple CD to add voiceover in my video. There are two ways of making this happen. The first way, which is the easier way, is to use non-high quality Siri's voice. And let me show you what it sounds like. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? The weather is very beautiful today. And the second way, a bit lengthy but also the best way, is to use the original high quality Siri's voice. Let's ask the same question again. Hey Siri, what is the weather like today? The weather is very beautiful today. Now that you guys know the difference, without any delay, first let me show you how you can use the not so good Siri voice. So what you need to do is first open any text editor of your choice. In my case, I have opened the default text editor found in Mac. Write something that you want to hear in Siri voice. Secondly, select the text, right click, go to services and select add to music as a spoken track. In the system voice drop down, find and select the Samantha voice. Give a suitable name, choose the directory of your choice and hit the continue button. Now open your music app, also known as iTunes and there you can see the audio in Siri voice. You can also right click and choose show in finder to view the audio location. Similarly, you can convert other texts to audio following the same procedure. Now, if you are not satisfied with the normal Samantha voice, I will show you another way to record a higher quality Siri voice. First, go to google.com and search for Soundflower. Click the first link that is of the GitHub. After the link opens, scroll a bit down and click the first link. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the link that says Sunflower. This will download the Sunflower plugin onto your Mac. Now open the downloaded Sunflower plugin and open it. Follow these steps and install the plugin. If this is the first time you are installing Sunflower, it will ask you for admin password and it will fail. What you need to do is Go to System Preferences, select Security and Privacy, move to General Pane. Once there, there should be an Allow button that you will need to click on to give permission to Sunflower. After that, run the installer again and it should succeed. After the installation completes, go to System Preferences, then go to Accessibility, select Speeds and make sure you have Siri Female in the System Voice dropdown. If you don't have it, you can install it from there. Now open the text editor like before. Write some text. Also open QuickTime Player to record the audio. After the QuickTime Player opens, click the drop down to the right of the record button and don't forget to select the microphone input to Sunflower and not the internal microphone. Now open the audio MIDI setup. Then create a new multi output device. And make sure both the built in output and Sunflower is selected. Now you will see the new multi output device option in the list of output devices underneath the speaker. Make sure you select this while trying to record Siri's voice. Now you can play the text using the shortcut option and skip and record the audio using QuickTime Player. Now finally, here is how you can play text using Siri's voice and use it in Final Cut Pro. Enjoy the video.
Assign sound flower. Note that the sound flower extension is signed, but the installer is not. You will have to hold the control key down to open the sound flower PKG installer for the first time. Assign Soundflower. Note that the Soundflower extension is signed, but the installer is not. You will have to hold the control key down to open the Soundflower PKG installer for the first time. So that's it guys for this tutorial. Hope you found it informative. Before we go, I would like to check if Siri has anything to say. Hey Siri, what's on your mind? Hi, I am Siri. Have a nice day. Also don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. See you soon!